This is Code.org. I'm currently working on CS principles. I'm on Unit 5, Building Apps, Lesson 15, Processing Arrays, Puzzle 6. Divide by 2. In the last exercise, you updated every element in your array using a for loop. Yes, we did. Let's get a little bit more practice with a pattern you used in the last exercise. This time, creating the loop yourself. Ah, we're in control. Do this. Starter code is provided, which creates an array of random values. Yep, just like the last exercise. Create a for loop that iterates or moves through, uh, over, I mean, every index in the array. Within your loop, add the code that divides each value in the array by 2. Ooh, that's tricky. Use the provided console log statement to confirm the program runs as expected. Below is an example of the outcome. Okay. So, let's see what it does right now. It's printing our array, and then our final array says it's the same. All right, so we want a for loop. We know that much. The original, so our code goes here, probably where it says your code goes here. I'm going to hit enter a few times so you can see better. Okay. All right, so let me grab my for loop out, and I'm just going to drop it there. And then I know we need, well, we're going to iterate through our array. So, hmm. so we want to do our array, and uh, our array's name is, well, actually, our array's name is my array, it's the variable. So we want my array to equal, uh, and we're targeting a specific index, right? So I whatever index we're iterating through. So we'll start at the first index, which would be zero, whatever random number is there. And what we want that to equal is, well, the exact same thing it did equal. So array i, okay, but divided by two. So we want to divide it by two and assign it to that exact same index. So hey, whatever uh, the index, my array at index zero equals now, divide that at, at by two and assign it to my array at index zero is what this says. A shorthand way of doing this, if you want to be fancy and use some of that stuff we learned previously, is to do it like this. This would mean this would mean you want to take the array at uh, the element at index i and divide it by two and then assign it to that index, right? So that's what we just did, but this is the shorthand way. And then we're going to log. Oh, let's log. Let's check this out. Okay, so we got 10, 5, 8, 4, 2, 1. Ah. Oh, what happened? Oh, so how long is our array? I don't want to put 10 or something like that. There's a better way to do this to avoid errors. And to do it, we should use my array dot length because that will get the length of the array. Okay, and the length of the array, remember, length will be, if we have 10 elements in our array, the length would be 10, but the final index is 9, because it starts indexes at 0. But that is fine, because we add 1 each time, so we start at 0, and then we go all the way up to 9. That is going through the loop 10 times. When we hit 10, we stop and drop below, but that's fine, because we start at 0, so we still get to every index, uh, all 10 parts. All right, let's try one more time. Ta-da! Beautiful. Awesome. Let's keep going.